Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 25th episode of this series and we have Shubham here with us who has been recently placed at Walmart as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria given for Walmart. So students from all BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a 75% or a 7.5 CGPA in their 10th 12th as well as in their currently pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Shubham and understand his experience interviewing for Walmart. Welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So thank you so much. Yeah. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So hello everyone. First of all, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks for inviting me to your channel. Master Shubham Rao. Finally, a BTEC student at VIT The Law, pursuing my degree in information technology. Outside my academic life, I enjoy painting, reading, and exploring new places. I also have a mean interest in playing badminton. My strength lies in teamwork, quick learning, and maintaining a positive mindset. That is very essential in my both personal and professional life. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about your placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, sure. So now let me take you through a very brief introduction about how my interview experience was with Walmart, which visited my campus around in like starting of the September for software development engineering role. The process began with a CGPA based shortlisting, after which 98 students were short shortlisted, including myself. Where the then they were selected for the online assessment. The online assessment, the test conducted on a higher pro platform, and it lasted for around one hour 15 minutes. The, the test consists of technical MCQs, which were 22 questions, mainly based on OOPs, OS, database, networks, and SQL. Okay. Then comes the coding question, and it was given 40 minutes to complete that question. Mm -hmm. And there were two coding problems from easy to medium level. Following this, the 30 students advanced to the interview round. The interview process, about the interview process, there were three technical rounds, followed by one HR round. Okay. Uh, with every round being an elimination round, each round focused on resume details, a DSA question, and four subject questions. Okay. Uh, the round one was there was an exhaustive round covering the wide range of topics mm. I had learned during my college journey, mm. including ML, AI, big data, OOPs. The questions required, the, there was also a DSA question that was asked was rotate a matrix by 90 degrees. Mm. The round to consist of a system design about my project which I did during my internship period. Okay. Additionally, I was asked a DSA question to find a word in a 2D matrix. Hmm. The round 3 was a techno managerial round where I had to explain my choice of tech stack and database. Hmm. It also included both technical and HR questions okay. where I elaborated on my project workflow and responded to HR queries. Okay. The interview started around 11 a.m. in the morning mm -hmm. and the final results were announced at around 9.40 p.m. Okay. It was also a long day, but at the end, all mm. the hard works and dedication paid off when I secured one of the most important milestones of my life. Right, right, right. That's great. That's so great. Congratulations again. And thank, thank you, you so much. much. So finally, how many people were selected? Uh, finally, there were six people who were selected, uh, including from Chennai and Bellow campus. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now, uh, do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share? Yeah, surely. I would like to suggest some things for juniors as well as for the aspiring candidates. For right. juniors or those who are preparing for interviews, hmm. they are what I would like to share. Maintain your CGPA. It will only, it will not only help you in the placement, but also open up various opportunities in VIT. Mm -hmm. Consistency is the key. Success is not only a giant leap, but an accumulation of small steps taken consistently hmm. right then don't compare yourself with others right. right everyone has their own journey focus on competing with yourself and improving day by day Agreed. then the lastly grab opportunities whether it's internship project or networking everything adds up in your career okay. connect with professionals in your domain and learn from their experiences hmm. now for those who are currently in the placement process the, the important suggestions are trust yourself never have a self-doubt on yourself it hmm. is easy to get lost in peer pressure but mm. stay focused there will already be a halfway to success be patient it through seeing others getting placed you are still waiting mm. but keep pushing every rejection is an opportunity to learn and move forward mm. and then finally stay determined remember every bit of your work adds to your experience and knowledge keep growing and eventually things will 
fall into place. At the end, it's your destiny and perseverance that will guide you towards achieving your dream. Hmm. Stay focused, work hard, and have faith in yourself. That's mainly a most important thing. Everything will align, align in due time. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you thank for you so your much. suggestions and for sharing your experience. I'm sure it's going to help many people. And yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, if you found this helpful, please do like, share and subscribe. And all the best on your placements. Thank you all for watching.